it feels really good to be walking along the dusty main street of Rowley, Alberta, one of our favorite ghost towns. We're going to have some then and now fun. This is danocan.com. We have visited Rowley multiple times on the channel, but today I've come equipped with some screenshots and clips from the 1989 Canadian film Bye Bye Blues. It was filmed here in 1989, and I want to see how some of the locations have changed and how they've stayed the same in those intervening 31 years. The train station plays a role in a number of scenes in the film, but the one we're going to look at here is where the protagonist, Daisy Cooper, played by Rebecca Jenkins, follows the train along the platform while trying to get news of her husband who is serving overseas in World War II. As the camera angle changes, she stands at the end of the platform and watches the train pull away, and we get a shot of the platform and the three classic grain elevators, which still stand here in Rowley. This rail line was abandoned and pulled up in the late 1990s, but they left a small stretch of track in front of the train station. And other than that, and the platform being a little bit longer than it was in the movie, it's still pretty easy to recreate that iconic shot. Our next shot takes place at the opposite end of Main Street as we get this high angle view taken from behind the corner of a yellow false fronted building. To recapture that angle, I would have had to trespass onto the private property that the building sits, and so the best I can do is give you a shot of what that building looks like from the front. This is my photograph of it taken in 2018. As you can see, it was originally the office of the county, although in the movie it serves as the post office. So without trespassing, this is the best I can do. The blue building across the road is playing the role of the hotel, although in real life it was the original Rowley Hospital, and the white church is still a white church. The porch that has been added onto the blue building was actually put there by another movie production company, which was filming in Rowley after Bye Bye Blues. The next scene I want to take a look at is this establishing shot of Main Street. You have the bank on the left hand side, the community center on the right hand side, and the grain elevators in the background. So it's a series of important buildings all in one shot and it's really great. And it's not that hard to recreate today. The trees have all grown up and really obscure the view, but trust me, all of those elements are still there. The bank, the elevators, the community hall, even this little pump house building right there. And the amazing thing is, the bank, during the time of the filming, was really just a facade, but after filming wrapped up, the members of the community decided to get together and actually built it into a genuine building. This next scene is another one I can't really get the correct angle on because of private property issues, but I'll show you where it was shot. The important things to pay attention to in this shot are the sidewalk and this tree with the three trunks growing up out of the ground, what I've come to call the triple trunk tree. So this house is obviously new construction since the movie was filmed, but right along here is where that wooden sidewalk would have run, and there is that tree with the three trunks. And in the distance you can see the blue hospital building that we can see in the background of the original shot as well. Our next scene takes place at this makeshift baseball diamond just outside of town. Now you've got this elevated road running through the middle of the scene and the elevators in the background, making it fairly easy to find the general location where this was shot. 
The trick is I couldn't get the same angle without trespassing into the farmer's field. So what I did is I took Drono can and flew it out over the field and then took the shot with the drone. With the fixed focal length, I couldn't really line it up all that well, so this was the best I could do. But it gives you the general idea, and you can still see that is the elevated road running through the middle of the scene. Now, playing around with the movie locations is fun and all, but I also wanted to do some comparisons to shots I've taken over the years. This one here is a shot of the elevators taken from the west edge of town in 2008, just prior to their restoration. And here is what that scene looks like today. Okay, one last one. No visit to Rowley is complete without including Sam Saloon, the epicenter of the legendary Rowley Pizza Night. This photo here was taken in 2006, which I believe was my first ever visit to Rowley. Now you're going to see some big changes in this one. Uh, you'll see the Sam's sign will be different. The front porch in front of Sam's will be different. But the most notable change is the garage to the right of Sam's, which was torn down and replaced with a look-alike building. Fire regulations prevented them from building it in the exact same spot so close to the saloon, so they had to put this little white building facade kind of thing in the middle to uh, meet with the current regulations. That's going to wrap it up for the then and now portion of today's episode. Emily and I were actually here as part of a special trip. We were meeting with Vincent Bonnet of CBC Radio Canada and Johnny Bachuski and Doug Hampton, the caretaker of Rowley and treasurer of the Rowley Community Hall Association. So we had a great chance to tour around the town in a bunch of the buildings, get a lot of inside stories and things that you no normally get a chance to hear. It was a fantastic visit. We were in town for about five hours, and it was absolutely a wonderful time, and it uh, was a great day. So a few shots from around town, from the ground, and then, of course, you know it's time to put Drono Can up and capture Rowley from the air. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.
Oh, that's a very good look. I need my spectacles. Yes.